Hi everyone, my name is John Howard with Bridgepoint Consulting and today I'm going to be walking through some inventory management settings that can be used to help companies reduce the risk of stockouts and reduce inventory holding costs. So looking at the screen here, we can see an inventory item and for this specific inventory item, the replenishment method is set to reorder point. So this allows us to scroll down here to some of these fields and, and review these. So the first one is reorder point. And this allows us to tell NetSuite uh, the quantity level of this inventory item that we want the system to replenish at, right? So this next field is lead time. And what this tells NetSuite is the average number of days between when a vendor receives a PO and when they uh, ship the goods and the goods are received by your company. The next field is the preferred stock level, and this tells NetSuite the optimum number or quantity of inventory for the specific item uh, that you want on hand. And so all three of these fields can be auto-calculated by the system, by NetSuite, based on historical data, or it can be input by users. This final field is the safety stock level, and this basically tells NetSuite the minimum quantity of inventory that you want on hand. This can't be auto-calculated, it needs to be input by a user. So in this current business environment, it's important for companies to reevaluate and reassess their inventory lists and specifically these fields um, due to the volatility that's happening with supply and demand, right? So for example, if you know that one of your major suppliers is running behind and, and typically it takes them their lead time uh, is a week for a specific inventory item, but now it, it's uh, taking them a month for you to receive the inventory item. It's important to update the system with this real-time data, so that way you can make better informed decisions going forward. Um, it, another example would be if you uh, project substantial decrease in demand, it would be wise to revisit the reorder point field and, uh, and potentially decrease that amount so that you aren't holding on to a lot of inventory when demand is low and, and really driving up those inventory holding costs. So two other features I want to touch on that can be leveraged in NetSuite to help reduce inventory holding costs are drop, the dropship feature and the special order feature. So you can designate an item to be a dropship item and what this does is when a customer orders a dropship item, the item itself will be sent from the vendor to the end customer. So it will never touch your inventory. So uh, this helps to reduce your inventory asset, your inventory holding costs, it, and it helps to reduce the order to uh, delivery cycle time. This next field or next feature is the special order feature and, and you can designate items to be a special order item. And this really, this feature acts as a just in time type of feature. So when a customer places an order and the sales order is approved, NetSuite can automatically generate a PO with that item to purchase it. So in, in that case, you're only purchasing inventory when a customer demands it. And so this again helps to reduce the inventory holding costs. Two other topics I wanted to talk about how companies can leverage NetSuite to assist in reducing the risk of stockouts and inventory holding costs are one with an inventory allocation strategy and two with NetSuite's distribution resource plan. So the first one, at Bridgepoint Consulting, we typically recommend our clients to create an inventory allocation strategy with the help of NetSuite. And this allows you to prioritize customers to maintain contractual obligations or satisfy key customers. This may be used when uh, there is a low inventory and many orders to fulfill, but you want to um, stay current in, in that contractual obligation and really satisfy those key customer demands. The second is the distribution resource planning in that suite, and this is really a method to optimize inventory across multiple locations. So if there's in, a lot of inventory in one location, it can be set up in the system to help 
replenish inventory in other locations. So sending inventory from one location to others. And this really helps to optimize inventory levels across uh, multiple locations within your company. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is John Howard with Bridgepoint Consulting. If you have any question or feedback, uh, my email is jhoward at bridgepointconsulting.com. Again, thanks for watching and be sure to be on the lookout for more NetSuite tips and tricks in the future. Thank you. Bye.